Hey, welcome back everyone. Glad you're tuning in. Just figured I'd do a quick video talking about lessons I've learned and what I'm going to be doing to adjust my gameplay going forward now that I've been playing the game a lot and facing more celestial players. So first off I wanted to talk about some of my poke moves that I've liked. Uh, I will say that while I do do a lot of the 2K, the 2D to kind of pressure my opponent, I often would do slash, you know, just far slash like this, and I have not liked it. The recovery is really long. I mean, Sin's really having to lean forward and pull himself back with that. However, down slash is very fast. This 2S, this 2 slash, it's fast, it's a low attack. I really like it. It feels a lot better than just the normal far slash. I will say, though, that close slash is still incredible. His... His close slash is amazing, the low slash is great, and 2K, 2D are also great. Of course, 2P is fine, um, or sorry, 6P. 6P is fine, I'm alright with it. It is a little high, the hitbox is pretty high, uh, and I am still enjoying Beak Driver as just a, uh, a poking tool. Things that I'm a little less sold on, this like stomp, I I'm okay with it. It's a good low, and it can really catch opponents off guard. And I do like it as an Oki, but um, I really think it's something to use when I can't quite close the distance after a knockdown. So maybe I knock my opponent down with a big combo, and I'm rushing up. And it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to put pressure on right away. I'll just run up and do the stomp, at least. At least I can pressure that way. Um, so that's kind of it for pokes. Um... I'm still hating, so, uh, oh, actually, I should say, one final move that I've really liked. I, I know that kick is fine, but man, this punch is just so good. I really need to just start using punch. This is surprisingly good if I'm going against a tall opponent. It's not great against low opponents. A, a, a crouching Faust is really annoying. May, Chip. Amelia, I just don't feel like I'm really connecting with those players. And when people duck, I'm just whiffing right over them. So it's annoying. I mean, why is it that Potemkin gets a uh, a punch that can hit crouching opponents, but I don't? <sighs> anyway. Moves that I'm still hating. This is terrible. I just do not like this dive kick, this jumping dust. I have seen some combos online of people using it for uh, side swaps so for example if I'm in the uh, if I'm in the corner getting pressured by um, let's say this Kai so I'm on the left he's got me in the corner there's a combo involved where I can essentially do all these moves and then do a dive kick and end up on the other side to then pressure him in the corner uh, just, yeah, really not liking this this dive. Maybe we'll find out more in the future. I'll also say that this, this has really just been disappointing. I mean, that's what, the, uh, the hoof stomp, yeah. Hoof stomp, <sighs> I've been getting caught out by my opponents. I'll, I'll go into that and they'll use the brief startup, especially at a distance. I mean, closer, it kind of connects faster, but at a slight distance, they'll just uh, DP out. They'll do a fast 6P to get out. They'll do some quick move, like maybe even just a jab to get out of it. So I really cannot be just throwing this out too often, and especially not after this. Really getting disappointed in heavy slash. I really need to be more careful about throwing that out because the, the recovery is very long, and I'm noticing that if I just go for a standard combo like that, a lot of players are punishing me with supers, DPs, very fast moves. So really need to be careful with this, careful with this, don't use this. Um, but yeah, that, I, I really want to be careful with that. And the follow-up to it, the, um, the dash in, that. I'm trying to remember the term for it. I think it's called gazelle step. Yeah, gazelle step. That follow-up is very dangerous. I can do it after uh, the overhead. I can do it after the beak driver. I can do it after uh, the dragon punch. 
the dash is good. The problem is opponents will expect it from Sin players a lot. It also consumes a lot of my stamina. And I've noticed that if I do it at close range, I have to go through that animation of like surging forward. There's that big red ring and people will just grab you out of that. It's kind of like you're sprinting at them for a second or two at point blank range. And so I get thrown out of it all the time. People will just throw me. So I think it's decent at range where I can just surge right up to them. But closer, I think it just leaves too much of a window for people to grab. It's kind of like what I've learned about Elfelt's move where she just kind of shoots her gun and cannons at you and just charges you. I've noticed that if she's too close, then she'll press herself into you for too long and you can go for a throw really easily. Things that I have been liking, um, I've really liked uh, landing those, uh, I feel like we've been doing really good on our, uh, our combos. I really think that this uh, full screen combo is just so much fun. Oh, and there's a, uh, a DP after that. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that is fun as hell. And you can follow it up with another wild assault, but man, that's fun. Um, I will say I need more practice with my car cancel supers, but I am starting to do them just when I notice that I'm landing a combo. And I'm starting to get the timing a little better. I'm starting to notice when I'm reaching the like apex of the move. And I'm, I'm picking them up a little more. Usually on the beak drivers, I do a little better. Yeah, usually on those, I'm a little better, but I am starting to get it on the overhead, so that feels good. Yeah, on that one, we, we're starting to get it. Yeah, there we go. But in game, it's really hard to land this stuff. I think I, think I just need more in game practice landing these uh, car cancel supers. Because, man, they are surprisingly difficult. Just ask any Sin player. Oof. And someday maybe I'll do it after the DP. It's just, it seems very awkward to do it. Because sometimes they end up a little too high. Yeah, I still cannot get the timing right. And it's a complicated move. You're doing a Dragon Punch input and then a, uh, a double... Yeah, double quarter circle forward. That's a little tricky. But I'm really hoping to land it on Hawk, on the uh, the beak drivers, and the um, the dragon punches. That'd be great. But really, I think it's because I'm I'm struggling on the uh, double quarter circle forward. I think that's what I need to focus on. Yeah, I think the inputs are okay. I think, or sorry, I think the button inputs are good. I'm getting the dash and then immediately into punch, but I just don't think I'm getting the uh, double quarter circle forward in the match. Things that I've seen online that I really want to try out, I saw a really good uh, play from Umi Show, where if you are in the corner here, and usually you like to DP out to get out of the corner, I saw in a game Umi Show do the DP and then immediately PRC, Purple Roman Cancel, out of it and then use the weird properties of having momentum during a PRC move and just flying out of the corner. I'm going to see if I can do it here. Didn't quite get there. Let's see if we can. No. Darn. No, it's still a red one. Well, now I don't even know how Umi Show did it. But I do like that uh, in the middle of the Dragon Punch, I can just kind of jet out like that. So maybe it's not... Oh, actually, maybe it's a... Eh, that's okay, I guess. Well... I'll have to look into it. Umi Show did something fancy. 
But worst case, I could probably just Dragon Punch, PRC, and then dash out. And that's really what we want to be using our PRCs for, because we've just not been doing a good job, especially on our sprints up. We're, we're, we're really struggling when we do our, uh, yeah, our sprint up like that. I just learned the name of the move. Why am I struggling? Gazelle Step. Gazelle Step. After that sprint up, I often go for a uh, a throw, just like that, or like that. But uh, they often jump, and when they jump, I just completely whiff on the throw. So I really need to be uh, sprinting in, and if I miss, then do a purple Roman cancel, because. I miss all the time, and I need to be ready. I, I should really honestly be overcorrecting. I want to see myself accidentally PR scene out of a throw, like a confirmed throw. I'd rather make that mistake than constantly get punished for whiff throws, where I'm just like not reaching my opponent at all, where I just run up and do that, and I get punished big time. Okay, so those have been my lessons. We really need to focus on PR scene out of moves early when we see them failing and then yeah getting the heck out of dodge we really need to PRC when we whiff on our throws so when we whiff on our throws we got a PRC out and we've got to land our car cancel supers other than that let's keep trying out these new pokes that we're enjoying and uh, oh let's also look for opportunities to do our uh, wild assault because i've i've always forgotten that i can wild assault out of a 2k 2d like look at that i can just go into a full combo with that and it's also good with this stomp move yeah we really need to land some wild assaults from that yeah that would be great And I will say one final thing. I remembered that there is a combo when you've just got no resources, which we should try to do. If we get an opponent in a corner, we should look for two kick and then a forward slash, uh, heavy slash. Sometimes that lands. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's just landing an extra hit there. Yeah, that's decent. What we're really looking for is, ah, we don't want to go into the beak driver. We want to just do a 2K and then that. Ah, oh, we're just going to keep doing it. Whoops. All right, keep quarter circle forward instead of that. That's what we need. Oh, well, I'll have to work on it more. But uh, I've seen Umi show land it as well. Maybe Sneed Chungus kind of lands it after the uh, hit there. They'll sprint forward. Yeah, something like that. It's fascinating that you can just do uh, uh, a sprint forward, the gazelle step, and then go right into that. And apparently you can just go into another full combo there. Let's check it out. Oh, almost had it. <laughs> Not a normal kick. Ah. Well, we're going to keep practicing these combos. Eventually, we'll get there. Hope you've been enjoying the game so far. Uh, I'm really hoping to put out some more. So I hope to see you in the future. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this recap, and hopefully I remember all these lessons. I'll catch you next time. See you then.